Have you wondered how Iran is quietly transforming its military? Not with more tanks, but with artificial intelligence technology. This slow but steady shift is reshaping the region's future conflicts. The story you're about to hear is entirely real. In recent years, Iran began developing military artificial intelligence programs. These programs focus on drones, missiles, and advanced intelligence systems. The main goal is precision, faster response, and reduced casualties. Most of this progress happens behind closed doors and labs. Drones were the first platform where AII began its work. Iran gained operational experience with its Shahed and Mohajer drones. Now, newer models operate partially autonomously during short-range missions. They can fly without continuous human control for limited operations. Autonomy does not mean the systems are fully independent today, but algorithms can analyze paths and environmental conditions effectively. This reduces the workload for human operators during missions, and it lowers risks caused by human errors under stress. Short-range missiles are also receiving intelligent guidance upgrades now. Iran uses sensors and predictive algorithms to improve strike accuracy. Recent exercises reported noticeably higher success rates for missile operations. Some of these results were quietly reported in foreign media. The maritime domain is another focus for intelligent military systems. IRGC fast boats now include semi-autonomous navigation and support. They can operate better during storms or low visibility conditions. Boats can propose safer, faster paths without full human input. Networking these systems is a core part of the strategy. Iran aims to link drones, boats, and missiles together. Shared networks transmit radar feeds and enemy position data simultaneously. This multi-platform integration allows quicker reaction in real missions. One long-term goal is creating a unified eye and ear. Satellites, drones, and ground-based radars connect into one network. AI processes the massive data and prioritizes detected threats efficiently. Many advanced militaries around the world pursue similar approaches. Sanctions forced Iran to rely heavily on domestic innovation. Local universities and companies are driving most of the research. Some cooperation with China and Russia has been reported. These partnerships mostly provide hardware support and basic algorithms. Developing such systems is far from an easy task. Technical challenges and component shortages slow down the progress. This is why advancement has been gradual and incremental. Yet the overall trend shows steady movement forward. Alongside the benefits, ethical questions are always present. Delegating combat decisions to machines shifts human responsibility away. If an algorithm fails, who will bear that blame? This question exists in every modern AI weapons project. Foreign analysts are closely watching these technological developments now. They consider Iran a growing but still limited player. Not a superpower, but a regional actor with deterrence. This appears in multiple intelligence and defense assessment reports. The reality is that Iran works with limited resources. It focuses on affordable yet effective technology for survival. Swarming small drones and simple networks show this exact approach. Recent conflicts already displayed how these tactics can be applied. Currently, most AI use supports human decision-making, not autonomy. Machines process the data, but humans approve final actions. Fully autonomous lethal systems remain a distant possibility for Iran. Even so, these steps already shift the regional balance. Reports indicate recent drills were designed for these experiments. Iran simulates realistic battle scenarios to test its networks. These exercises include combined drone, boat, and missile operations. 
The goal is testing coordination and strike precision in practice. From an analyst's view, these upgrades are mostly defensive. Better surveillance and faster responses reduce chances of direct war. Yet regional rivals are drawn into silent AI competition. Such a technological race is new to the Middle East. For people following these developments, big questions naturally appear. Will this technology bring real security or fresh instability? Can machines truly reduce major human mistakes in warfare? And when will military ethics face a new test? For Iran, this is considered a long-term investment now. New military officers are trained with data and algorithms. The future battlefield depends more on screens than trenches. Less about tanks, more about processing live intelligence streams. This trend is global, and Iran refuses to stay behind. Neighboring countries are developing similar smart military programs too. The AI race is slow, silent, and extremely deliberate. Its results will be clearer in the next decade. For viewers of this documentary, the value is understanding trends. Trends that shape wars without showing immediate destruction on screen. Knowledge here helps interpret future events more intelligently and understand how today's choices impact tomorrow's security landscape. In the end, a clear picture of Iran emerges. Not a technological superpower, not entirely left behind either. Instead, a player using technology as a tool for survival. This quiet reality is already reshaping the region's military future.